Hi guys, welcome back to Fisher Level Fact. So today I'm going to talk about 5 interesting facts about trout. So trout is basically a freshwater fish, but some of the species might live in the ocean and um, return to the freshwater to spawn. So this brings the first fact for today. The first fact is the migration rainbow trout. So rainbow trout, or also called Oncorhocus mykis, is known for its migration way of life that we call anadromous, whereby this fish could live in the ocean for two to three years before move back to freshwater where they were born to spawn when they are ready. As similar to Atlantic salmon, rainbow trout could also spawn several times during their lifetime. According to scientists, this way of life is actually a way to prevent cannibalisms. This is because the parents, the rainbow trout parents, will not recognize their offspring. So when they migrate the offspring, the, the eggs is safe for the next seven to eight weeks before they hatch. So once they hatch, it will turn to larvae and the larvae will turn into juveniles before they swim back to the ocean. So that's how their life cycle are. So fact number two. This is about brown trout. So brown trout is well known to have a diverse genetic variation among all trout. So up to now, there are around 50 subspecies of brown trout that have been recognized. So maybe you would ask, how come they have 50 subspecies? And what makes them so special? So this is because brown trout are very adaptable to different environment. We can find lake trout, riverine trout and even sea trout all under the name of brown trout or salmotrata and what makes them more interesting is they even have more chromosomes than human yeah they have around 80 to 100 chromosomes that is around double the amount of chromosomes that human have so us human only have 46 chromosomes so these facts makes brown trout genetically more complex than human. So we already learned about rainbow trout and brown trout, but have we heard about brown bow? Yeah, so the third fact is about brown bow. So brown bow is actually the mix between rainbow trout and brown trout. So this hybridization, the cross between rainbow trout and brown trout will produce brown spots and um, pink line in the in the hybrid in the brown bow. This hybrid can only be found in hatcheries because brown trout and rainbow trout cannot interbreed with each other because they are from different genus. Because brown trout is from Salmo genus and um, rainbow trout is from Oncorhynchus genus. So yeah, they cannot interbreed with each other at all in the wild. We cannot find brown bow in the wild population. So this hybrid was reported to feed all year round and it also can bypass spawning cycle because brown trout spawning cycle is one of the limitation. So brown bow could eliminate that limitation and it can be spawned all year round. So there's a study who found that rainbow trout could surpass brown bow um, growth within the same amount of time. So this brown bow, I guess, is not very popular right now because of this um, finding. So number four, trout can change color. So you can observe different color of trout in different environments. So they can change their coloration according to the environment they live in. For example, trout in the ocean are observed to be more silvery compared to the freshwater trout because in the freshwater they are ready to spawn. Trout in the freshwater are much more um, vivid in colors and pattern. The same things can be observed in um, trout who live in a stream with shadowed trees. So trout live in a stream with shadowed trees appear to be much more darker than those who live in an open, open stream. Uh, so these differences occur due to the different pigment cells in their body. Feet also plays an important role in the color 
enhancement. So you can find um, wild fish is much more colorful than the farm fish. How do we enhance color in the farm fish? Farmers normally give supplemental feed to the farm fish to enhance their color. So this supplemental feed normally consists of um, carotenoid. So carotenoid may come from different um, organisms. It, it can be found in algae, in shrimp, and even in krills. This supplemental feed will be supplied to the trout in the hatcheries to bring out their colors. Fun facts, in Japan, rainbow trout with bluish back is much more highly demand because in Japan, they sell the rainbow trout in a hole. So the farmers must take note of this and they must uh, prepare supplemental feed to enhance the bluish back color of, of rainbow trout. Number five, so salmon and trout can interbreed. So you might be wondering why does salmon and trout can interbreed while rainbow trout and brown trout cannot interbreed. So the fact is salmon or specifically Atlantic salmon or salmosala can interbreed with brown trout or salmotrata. So obviously they came from the same genus so they can interbreed with each other but rainbow trout and brown trout is from different genus. The earliest studies reported about the mixture between salmon and trout was from Dr. J. W. Jones in 1948. Uh, he's from University of Liverpool. So he tried to breed between female salmon and male trout. The hybrid appears to resemble more like salmon than the trout. And in 2013, there's a group of researchers who successfully uh, breed GM salmon or genetic modification salmon with brown trout. This mix produced transgenic hybrid and this hybrid were reported to outgrow their parents. So when they could outgrow the GM salmon, they also could outgrow the wild counterpart. So they try to keep the hybrid together with the GM salmon and um, this hybrid could grow much more bigger than the GM salmon within the same amount of time. This fact shows that this transgenic hybrid will be a problem if they manage to escape from the hatchery to the wild, especially when there is a limited supply of food. Alright, so that's all 5 interesting facts that I can find about trout. So do you have any other facts that worth sharing? Don't hesitate to share them in the comment section below. And um, please share and like this video too. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. With that, thank you for watching and see you next time.